so one thing that we're seeing an uptick in is people that have <laughs> offshore accounts. And it becomes quite surprising to them when they hear in the news that, what do you mean, I have an account that overseas that has a few hundred thousand dollars in it, I've always had it, I'm an American citizen. What do you mean I have to disclose that? Why would I have to disclose that? And that's the vast majority of these situations you hear about in the media. It makes it sound like everybody's a tax dodger out there that's trying to basically get away without paying taxes. And that's not the situation for most of the people we run into. Those are, there are those situations, don't get me wrong, but if you have an offshore account that's in excess of $10,000 at any point during the year, you have to file your FinCEN requirement in Detroit by June 30th of each year, and it's done electronically now, um, giving the location of that account, the highest balance throughout the year of that account, and the account number and the institution it's had. So don't forget that. The penalty is atrocious. It's 50% per year that you don't report on the highest balance. So you could owe more than you actually have in the account over the years. Plus there's potential for criminal prosecution on those, those issues. That's a hell of an incentive to be transparent. Yeah, but people don't know about it. And I, <laughs> and I get it. They just, why would you think you have to send a report over your, one of your assets? Uh, to the government when you're not even making income on it, let's say. It's just interest-free accounts. Just sitting there. There's no tax consequence. But if you look on your 1040, there's a box, I think it's on page two, that says, do you have any foreign, no, probably three or four, actually, do you have any foreign accounts? And if, you're, if you know you have a foreign account, you're not checking that box, that's a potential tax fraud. Yeah. And if you see that box, and a lot of this has to do with the accountants, too. The accountants should be bringing this to people's attention. Um, do you have a foreign account? Because if you do, you need to make sure you disclose it. It's a big issue. So when we take people through that program, it takes forever. I mean, the IRS is just inundated with people trying to go through the voluntary tax program. When we started going through that program in 2009, the, uh, the penalty was 20% of one year's highest value. Now it's up to 27% of one year's highest value, which is a lot better than paying 50% for each year you miss. Yeah. I mean, that just cascades into a ridiculous amount. It takes a long time. It's taking two years to get through this process because just nothing happens. Now we're seeing that the IRS is even pulling in individuals that have nothing to do with a voluntary disclosure program out of audit or other areas uh, to deal with these. Mm -hmm.